when you're riding a wave that's so high and you come down a little bit, you honestly feel horrible. <laughs> Hello, 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 welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, I am Jessica, and of course this is my channel. Okay, I'm going to be putting on a full face of makeup today, which doesn't happen too often, but it has been happening more often recently, you know? Um, so this is kind of like a get ready with me, I'm going to chit chat a little bit. I wasn't really planning on making this video, but here we are, I just decided to do it like an hour ago, I'm like, you know what, let's just ch sorry, let's just charge my uh, camera and let's get it going. Okay, so what am I getting ready for? Nothing special. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna make some TikToks after. Um, I might actually go on TikTok live because I have to repot my plant. So I'm just gonna make the makeup worth it, basically. So let's just get right into it. I already have this on. This is the Milk Primer. Okay, before I get started, I need to say that obviously one of my content pillars on my channel is in beauty. Like, we know that. Um, so this is just like a hee hee ha ha fun video, so please don't come for me for anything I say, not really what I say, anything I do with makeup in this video because like, I'm not a makeup guru. We know that. We know that. So yeah, this is what I already have on my face, Milk Hydro Primer. Um, my neighbors, I don't know what they're doing. Like you would think they are renovating from like 10 feet below up. But now they're done. It might be a bit difficult, but we're gonna we're gonna get through it. So I have this on. This has been on for probably like five minutes now. I got this recently. Fenty. What the frick is this red stuff? We're off to a great start. I got this Fenty Beauty Easy Drop um, foundation. It's kind of like a skin tint. Is this focusing or no? It's kind of like a skin tint. I am color N22. Well, I don't know. I already made this whole thing about it on TikTok, but like. I'm in between N22 and N23, but N22 is a little bit lighter, N23 was darker, but I'm like, I'm probably going to be more towards this shade. Maybe a little bit darker, but not exactly N23. That doesn't matter. Anyways, I put it on with my fingers, and then I go over it after with a brush. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I don't know. I think you're supposed to do this and then like warm it up, right? Like, that's what people do. I'm using two fingers. I actually think I did wrong. I think it's supposed to be these two fingers. But I'm using obviously these two. Whatever. Anyways, and there's also a mirror behind you guys. So, a few things I wanted to chat about because I was actually going to make a video about this. But not really a YouTube video because I think that would be like a little too deep for me. But it's going to be like a little TikTok thing. Um, basically talking about like, um, yeah, I guess personal development, healing, all that you know, fun, good stuff. Can you guys see this is like, I don't know what you guys see. <laughs> this is a very light layer. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more before I start my little rants. It's actually not a rant, it's more of like a, why was the first thing that popped into my head? A cry for help. It's not a cry for help, I swear I'm okay guys. But it's more of just like a realization that um, Personal development isn't just like, you know, you go through something and like, haha, you're you're done, you're great. And healing, I guess you can call it healing too, and just like becoming a better person, up leveling, all that great stuff. It's just not a one and done situation. I think that's just life in general. Like I don't even know where to start with this. I'm also getting a facial tomorrow, so thank the lords. But honestly, that was me trying to deflect from this. Let's go back to it. So if you've been here for a while, you probably know that basically from December to like April, I was away. I came back for like a couple of weeks for the holidays, like Christmas time. But pretty much from December to April, I've been away. I also have my hand in mirror because I want to be looking here too often. I want to actually like look at you guys, but also like, you know, let me just do this. I don't know. This is why I'm not a beauty guru because first of all, don't know what I'm doing. Second of all, how are you talking and doing your makeup at the same time? I have these like makeup wipes. They're not, I don't even need to show them, but they are, they're basically like no name brand. If you know Chopper Drug Mart from here, but the Chopper Drug Mart Life brand. But I just use that to like wipe my hands after. I am going to wash my hands, but this is just like what I do for now as I'm like sitting down. Urban Decay All Nighter. I've been using this for literally forever. Not the same bottle, but you know. Anyways, now that I can actually focus a little bit, I just dab this in because I'm setting the skin tint, I think. Okay, as I was saying before I literally got sidetracked purposely, 
um November to April I was away and I came back and like I went through this whole like personal transformation thing literally in April April and May I was like writing the biggest high on life you could ever have like it was just like I I was like reborn you know I went through like a little rebirth situation especially like end of January February March end of January and February and then March was like when every everything was coming together so yeah April and May just know that I was high on life like I never knew what high on life like meant until those couple months April and May and um yeah I was like crying every day out of like gratitude and just like being happy happy to be here literally my line happy to be here um and then yeah that was all great that was all fun but like I knew I was high on life then but I was also like, okay, is this my life? Like, is this just how things are going to be? But like, in the back of my head, I'm like, oh no. Like, this is not the pinnacle of your your life. Like, how you're going to feel. Like, I literally feel like in April and May, I had no bad days. <laughs> like, it's actually kind of weird. I, maybe I had like one bad day. Maybe like half, not even a full bad day. Like, like a mini bad day. It was, it was very weird. I'm like, well, honestly... Obviously, I don't regret it. That's not that's not something I would regret. But it's just like I feel like I deserved it because I went through so much in January and February that like obviously you know you can't see everything. I didn't share everything, but it's just like it was a lot. Anyways, so then towards the end of May, basically beginning of June of this month, I was like, hey, this high on life is not feeling so high anymore. You know, it's not the same, not the same buzz. I'm like, hey, I started just like you know getting back to reality, basically. You know, the high was gone. It wasn't gone, it was, fl mm, was fleeting, is that the word? No, it was just leaving slowly, you know, it's like, oh, I'm starting to feel stuff. I'm, I'm starting to have bad days, but, but they weren't even bad days. When you're riding a wave that's so high and you come down a little bit, you honestly feel horrible. <laughs> you feel horrible, but it's like what, I, like, what I went down to was just like, like normal, like living. I was so like good, but it was just like not, you know, that like peak that I was feeling for like two months in a row. This pretty much all started like after Mexico, like beginning of June-ish. I just started feeling regular, you know, regular degler and I was like, this is not like, I'm not liking this, you know, I'm not liking this. It's just annoying because the journey is never over. Like literally you heal one thing and it's like the next thing comes up. I'm like, can you give me a break? I had a two month break, but like, can you give me a break? god so here we are it is i don't have my watch on june 27th something like that june 27th and i'm like i don't know let's take a little pause as i show you guys my next thing sasha buttercup this you okay i feel like all my products i'm using besides the fenty easy drop these are all like old pro not old products but like products that used to be like well known back in the day you know like do people even use this anymore i don't know i've had this for way too long way too long sorry i'm just i'm just putting some on the back of this <laughs> no i'm just laughing because like who's learning anything from me beauty wise no one but we're gonna pretend that millions of people are. I talked about it in car chats, but I didn't really get into detail because car chats is just kind of like that topic itself. But basically, a week and a half ago, I was like, yeah, I need to remove myself from many situations. And Instagram was number one. <laughs> Instagram was number one because I was like, I'm not getting anything from this and it has to go. Like, it's not doing anything positive for me. And, um,. Yeah, I just knew I had to go. I was literally just posting my TikToks and like a few photos of me here and there. And it's like, what is that doing? I think when my high was crashing down a bit and I started to feel like regular, <laughs> being on Instagram didn't help. I will say that, you know, I don't want to really say that I was like comparing myself to people because I really, really don't think I was. And I feel like if I was like I would just like say that but me saying that doesn't feel right I don't want to be like and I was comparing myself you know how everybody gets on social media for that reason I was comparing myself to people but I really don't feel like I was like I kind of like I don't know if this is bad to say I kind of like wish I was so then I could just say that like that's what it was but I don't know I just didn't feel great from it you know and I was like this like it just wasn't doing anything for me at all 
and then when things aren't doing anything for me they gotta go they gotta go i've done this 10 times guys i promise you this is all gonna blend in together at the end so basically i started thinking i'm like should i delete instagram or should i like what should i do because it has to go and then honestly i just was like yeah i'm gonna delete it so i deleted the app whatever that's gone and it's funny because like as soon as i deleted it literally like as i saw it leave my phone eh, i have to say it, as i saw it leave my phone i literally felt better i'm like thank god i don't know it was weird but i was like hey and it was so funny because i I have two phones. So then I forgot it was on my other phone. I'm like, oh shit, I have to go through this again. And I felt even better. I was like, okay, this is good. This is great. So that left, you know? I feel like I'm just in the phase right now where I'm like, I'm really focused on me. The most I've ever been focused on me. And I don't want any distractions. And I don't want to like... I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to have to see things I don't want to see, you know? A lot of people who I was talking to on Instagram in my DMs, like if we're only talking in the DMs, like we're not that close and that's fine. It just, it is what it is. If you're willing to contact me, email me because my email is my bio, whatever, right? And a lot of people on Instagram, they're just Instagram friends. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, every time I say that, I feel bad, but it's like, frig, it's the truth. Like, I will probably never see you ever in my life. We're just like posting to post, like... Yeah, of course, some, some of us have been, like, they have businesses, some people. I don't, like, do business from Instagram anymore, so it's just, like, I really had no need to be there. So I said adios. Originally, I was going to leave for a month, and, but then I was like, I don't want to come back in a month because I'm not going to be here. And just, like, I don't want to... Ew, this is the first time I feel, like, censored on my own channel. But, like, I just don't want to call anyone out. What I basically meant to say is, like, I just don't want to come back when I'm away. You know, like, that's... That's just not me. I know a lot of people do that, but that's just not me. I don't want to be like, I'm gone. I didn't even say I was gone. I said nothing. Love how I'm using this one brush for everything. This is the only brush I have right now. Besides the ones that come in my eye brow palette. Like, <laughs> this is so funny. So yeah, you guys are basically seeing me in the middle of some transformation right now. Um, overall, I feel like fine. I feel good. I'm, I just don't feel that high, <laughs> that high I felt for the past two months. But I do know that like it's going to come back after I'm done with my little inner work. But um, it's just something that couldn't be, couldn't, I was going to say couldn't be escaped. That's not the word. I just couldn't not go through it because I'm all about doing the inner work. I'm just like, I know it's tough. I know it's hard, but it's like the things I got to do right now. And that is just what it is. And it's great because I actually get to focus on myself, get to do the things I love, which I've always been doing the things I love, but basically creating so much more now. I'm being a consistent queen on YouTube and no one can say I'm not because I know that I am. I see my upload dates and they're, they're very close together. So we're doing that, which is great. I'm really focused on TikTok right now. I think you guys can tell that I really, really love TikTok. Follow me on there. Um, and yeah, that's just all like all I'm focused on right now, right? Just like creating stuff, working with brands, and just just living my life, you know? <sighs> oh, I have tea, but I'm kind of warm. I feel like I look so washed out in this, but like, guys, I swear it's all gonna come together. Okay, I need to go a little faster. I've been here for 20 minutes. I've done nothing so far. A little foundation, a little, what's this called? Concealer, setting? It's setting powder. It's setting powder, but I don't have concealer on. That's fine. I told you guys, I don't really know what I'm doing. But we're working through it. Honestly, I'm over talking about this whole healing thing. Like, whatever. I'm basically on a transformation right now. I'm going through it, but not like it, like horrible. Just, you know, going through it, right? And that is just what it is. There's this audio, and it's like, just disappear face the girl in the mirror and don't come back until you're done something like that and that's me right now basically you know just disappear then go to war against the girl in the mirror and don't come back until you win i have disappeared from a lot of people 
who I used to be in contact with. And um, you'll not see me until I'm a different person, you know, because that's just what I have to do for myself. And that is that. And I did not want to be distracted by fugaziness <laughs> and just like things that I don't necessarily care about, you know. Oh, what am I doing right now? This is Bare Minerals Natural Deep 29. What is that? Nice. Expires August 2001. I mean, 2021. And this, what am I doing with this? Just putting it on the places that I didn't put the setting powder. I'm setting, I'm basically setting the skin tint with this. Gosh, that took me so long to say. Um, what was I just talking about? I literally forgot what I was just talking about. I feel like I was just getting into a whole topic. Oh no, I was just saying how like I don't care about Instagram people. Uh, I already kind of announced this <laughs> announcement. I'm going to Italy in I think two and a half weeks. So that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I don't have a return ticket, so who knows when I'm coming back. <laughs> but honestly, I do think I'm just going to be there for two and a half weeks. Maybe three weeks max, give or take. Something like that. I'm going to Venice is where I land. Rome, Naples. Spend some time in Florence. And I think I'm going to go to, well, yeah, the Nomafi Coast. And I think that's it. That's the plan. But... Uh, right now, all I know is Venice for sure. <laughs> but like, my plan is what I have planned, but it's like, I still need to, um, book a few things. I only booked the Venice Hotel so far, so I should really get on everything else. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of just doing it different. Like, when I went away from January to April, I had that all, like, booked in, I think, September, October of last year. And I guess this time I'm just doing things a little differently, you know? And for that, I stayed at all Airbnbs, and then this time, I'm staying at all hotels, I believe. So far, all hotels, so it's going to be different. This is the Anastasia and Jackie Ina, I think. Is it Jackie Ina? I don't know, but I think it's, yeah, J-A, right? The Anastasia and Jackie Ina palette. Ooh, one second. Okay, we're back and I'm just gonna put one color on my eye last time I did credit which is oh I can't see which is that one which looks all right but I don't know edges it's way too light imagine me putting that on my eye I think that's way too light I don't know why in my head I thought this palette was darker maybe I'll just I'll use Pinker and put pinker all pinker. I'll just I'm thinking I'm just gonna use this one on my eyes. Um I'm not really great at smoky eye anymore and all that like fun stuff. So I'm just a one color gal, you know? So we're just doing the one color and that's it. But oh yeah, for Italy, I'm so excited to like vlog there. Um probably no weekly vlogs to be honest, but definitely like a vlog in Venice, a vlog in Rome, a vlog, you know, in every new place. I'll be fun, I'll be cool. Um, I do have a video plan of, like, doing some shopping, like, before I go there. Obviously, when I'm there as well, but, like, before I go there, like, because I need some, I need some Italian outfits, you know? Maybe not made in Italy, but, like, you know, outfits to wear there. I feel like I need some more things, so that's something I gotta do as well. I feel like we're... We're getting somewhere, I think. I'm just trying to do this a little bit fast because I know that I didn't charge my camera fully all the way and I just don't want it to die before I'm done. So some things I just need to do and then talk, you know? I don't know what that was. I'm like, should I even put liquid eyeliner or should I just put some mascara and call it a day? But liquid eyeliner, because of the way my eyes are shaped, like, it just makes everything... So, I'm gonna do liquid eyeliner. And it's kind of my favorite, like, thing to do, makeup-wise. Oh, I have nothing to put on my eyebrows. Because... I haven't worn makeup for a while, and then my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil. 
is done and I just didn't use it for a long time and I have my eyebrows microbladed so I'm just gonna kind of remove the makeup I have on there and hopefully whatever I know it's not a good look but I can't do anything right now last time I did put on like a little bit of a <clears throat> like liquid black eyeliner on my eyebrows and it just did not look good it was just too dark so now I'm just like whatever okay liquid eyeliner this is <laughs> for I literally forgot what video I was doing Essence super fine eyeliner pen honestly with liquid eyeliner all it has to be is literally that super fine um thin and I'll make it work I do not like the the gel the cream not the cream the gel that doesn't work for me not the gel the pomade because I'm like isn't this considered gel I don't know guys it's actually almost done which is annoying because oh I can't get it to be as sharp as I want it to be because it's like fading Ugh. You guys see how at the end it's like not like sharp sharp? That's annoying. I should get another one like literally today. Maybe that's what I'll do after. I'll go to Sharp Sharp Run and get another one. This is only like five bucks max. I think it's a little bit less than that, but let's say five bucks. Guys, what is going on here? Look at this. Look what's happening. We're gonna have to transform that immediately. I'm not happy with this eye, but like I'm just gonna leave it as is because at this point, like, I gotta go. What am I using? This, okay, I saw this girl on TikTok. Her eyelashes were like super, super, super long. I'm like, what mascara are you using? And she said she was using Telescope by L'Oreal. I was gonna say maybe we'll again. That was super fast. By L'Oreal. So Telescope by L'Oreal. No, that's not telescopic. Sorry, I'm like, Telescope doesn't sound right. But, um, it's a great mascara. Do I have anything else to update you guys on? I feel like I just wanted to get that healing thing off of my chest. That was like the, my main thing. But besides that, can't really think of anything else. Nothing else is really happening. And then my trip. And then I come back. Oh, and then I moved back to Toronto. Um, probably like, maybe like a month or two after I get back from Italy. Just depending on when the building is done. Just kind of like waiting. I'm kind of in the limbo area right now. I think that's, mm, I don't know if that's really contributing to like my whole transformation thing as well. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it a transformation. I just like know a change is happening. But um, yeah, I feel like I'm in a limbo spot right now because like if you don't know, I'm at my parents. They're like an hour from Toronto. And that's a decision I made after I gave up my place in November. I've been out of Canada more than I've been in Canada since November and it just didn't make sense for me to keep my place. Like it, it really wouldn't make sense at all. I've been here for maybe about two months altogether since November like give or take so it just didn't make sense but yeah going back to Toronto which will be fun but I definitely am enjoying my time I feel like I'm out in the country but not really like I did see a fox the other day so that was cool oh my god guys I committed my first roadkill like three days ago it was so sad and it was, I, I would say, let's just say I committed my first, second, and third road kill in the same day because it was not good. It was not cute. It did not feel real. I mean, it did not feel right. No, I feel bad. I still honestly have like low key flashbacks now. I'm not being, I'm not being like, oh my god, I'm like PTSD, but it's just like, it's just like the vision of it. Guys, it was like a pack of baby raccoons. It was just, it was a mess. It was messed up. And the feeling of your car going over an animal is not like you're not going over a smooth. Okay, sorry. I should have had some trigger warning. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's continue on. But like, yeah, I'm I'm processing that literally though. Like, it's just not not ideal. I don't know how some people like. I guess everyone's different. But like, I'm very empathetic. So I'm just like, that was just not cool of me. And I was going very fast where I shouldn't have been so 
I just feel bad, but we're we're gonna work through that. <laughs> we're gonna work through that. Gosh, by the time I finish this, I'm gonna need to take a nap. I don't even like naps, but it just feels like feels like one's a brewing. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I also feel like I'm getting my period right now as we speak. And this happened to me in Mexico too. I was vlogging and I got my period right then and there. And I know it's happening right now. I just know it is. So we're gonna end this video pretty soon, but I'm almost done. Now I put my setting spray again. The final thing is basically just uh, patting in the setting spray and then I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty much done. Oh, my lips. My lips, I forgot. My lips! What is wrong with me? Oh god. Well, tonight? Well, no. Mm. I don't know if that's a good idea. I was like, tonight I'm gonna like kind of dimmer plane my mustache. But is that a good idea the day before chemical peel? Probably not. So for content, it's just chapstick. And then I'll put like a gloss. I'm gonna use this one, Bloxum. Uh, this is from Sephora as well. Sephora, Sephora. Maybe I should go there today too to get my Anastasia. Maybe not. I don't know. It's pretty like 313. Okay. Boxum, this is so good. I don't remember if all of them have this agent in it, but they have this like plumping agent. And it's like a little tingly, like whatever. If you're wearing it, you're probably like fine. But if you're like <laughs> if you're, like kissing someone, they're probably like, what the fuck are you putting on my lips? Like why are you poisoning me? So yeah, just keep that in mind. Some people may not expect their lips to be like, you know, tingling afterwards. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's remove this from the back of my hands. I'll tell you for sure I'm not 100% happy with my eyeliner, but it's fine. This is my final look. Oh, I don't have any contour, as you could tell. I feel like my lips are too glossy on top. Way too glossy. My lip gloss is popping. My mustache is popping. Like, okay. <laughs> okay, this is my final look. Guys, like that looks so messed up, but I think from afar it's just like whatever, but from up close, like, sorry, what? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> my little whatever. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening. I know this video was like kind of impromptu so there wasn't really much structure to it I kind of just wanted to talk get some stuff off my chest while I'm doing my makeup so hope it was I hope it was watchable <laughs> I will see in the analytics I will see uh thank you guys once again don't forget to hit the subscribe button the what button sorry the subscribe button down below it helps me a lot it's like oh my god we are I'm just loving it I'm just loving it and loving you guys don't forget to follow me on TikTok this is where you will find me Every day, every day, multiple times a day. I'm literally going to go and make like 10 videos right now, draft them, and I'll have my videos ready. Um, I think that's all I have to say. It's Monday. You probably see this video on Wednesday. So happy midweek <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.